Our mental health is just as important as our physical health. The National Alliance on Mental Health or Mental Illness, rather, or NAMI, is dedicated to bettering the lives of the millions of Americans affected by mental illness. Lori Leipold, the development director of NAMI Greater Mississippi Valley, and Malik Kalik are joining us to talk about NAMI Walks 2024. Thank you both for being here today. Thank Our you pleasure. for having us. Now, Malik, uh, you and your family are one of the primary sponsors for this year's walk, so um, we're going to talk more about that in just a moment. But first, we want to kind of get into the importance mm -hmm. of having NAMI here in the Quad Cities area. I mean, you cover a large real estate across our area. We do. Um, what NAMI Greater Mississippi Valley does, um, we are a 45-year affiliate yeah. of the National Alliance on Mental Illness. So what we do is provide nationally developed um, our programs. Uh, our programs are all developed by um, our national headquarters in Arlington, Virginia. Okay. So we provide nationally developed free education and support programs for people who are living with a mental health condition, but also, and just as importantly, their families and friends. Okay, and there's some startling statistics out there. Yes. I, every time I hear these, I, I'm, I'm very surprised, especially with the younger population. Absolutely. Yes, um, one in five U.S. adults um, experience a mental uh, illness mm. in any given year. Yeah. And that's actually um, more common now since the pandemic. One in three U.S. adults report experiencing symptoms of anxiety or yeah. depression. Mm -hmm. um, and you mentioned youth. Um, yeah. One in six youth ages 6 to 17 experience um, a, a mental health disorder yeah. in any given year. And I think that makes a lot of people go, whoa. It I mean, does. I mean, kids as young as six years old going mm -hmm. through something like this. And I think the issue is uh, there's a stigma. I think we're getting better about talking about it, especially going through the pandemic. But, you know, it's more than half of those people, they don't seek help to treat this. Absolutely. Um, we are getting better yes. um, since yeah. the pandemic about talking about our mental health. Mm -hmm. And that's wonderful, especially our youth. Um, however, um, there is still a stigma and people don't always seek help yeah. and start those conversations with family members and right. friends. Um, and l as you said, less than half of people um, are undergoing treatment. Yeah, so that's why organizations like NAMI are so important. So you've got your biggest fundraiser. Yes, we do. Uh, coming up. So talk about NAMI Walks 2024. Malik, I know you and your family have uh, participated in this, and this is your second year where you're mm -hmm. the, the premier sponsor. Why did you feel the need to do this and to help this organization now? Well, mental health is something is easily for us all not to talk about. Yeah. Because it doesn't leave a scar, it doesn't have a scratch. So our objective is really to bring awareness, get people involved. We have family history of when our oldest son mm -hmm. had issues. And at that time we really realized, unless we openly acknowledge and talk mm -hmm. about this part of healthcare, it becomes difficult to get help and also people to voluntarily go get help, just like you mentioned, a lot of statistics, because a lot of young people deal with it. Yeah, and with absolutely. COVID, it actually became worse, yeah. because look, really young and really elderly did not really have the support system yeah. around them. They lost a lot of it. So in order for us to really talk about it, somebody has to just take the lead, and NAMI is a great organization for us to get involved with. Yeah, several counties that you cover, and, and you help all these people out in both Iowa and Illinois. Yes, we do. Um, our service region is five counties in um, eastern Iowa and three counties in western Illinois. So it's a, it's a large area, lots of people to serve. Um, and what's great about NAMI Walks is it's, um, it's a very positive family-oriented yeah. event. Um, this is our 21st year. Um, it's um, Saturday the 28th at yeah. the, the Bend Expo Amphitheater and Park. Area, I see yeah. have some photos up yes. there from last year. Hopefully the clouds won't be um, as prevalent <laughs> as they <laughs> yep. were last year. Fingers crossed. But it's, it's, um, it's the lar Quad City's largest mental health advocacy and awareness event. Mm -hmm. And it's just a great time for people to bring the whole family, bring their dogs, 
come and walk, you can walk the whole 5K, yeah. three laps around um, the park area, around the bend, or one lap is one mile, or two laps is two miles, okay. and we've got the um, United Township High School cheerleaders there cheering people on. We've got live musicians. Yeah. It's just a very positive, family-oriented event. Yeah, and you have a lot of organizations and booths around, so people can mm -hmm. get information on seeking help because, you know, people just need to realize it's okay to not be okay. It's okay to ask for help. And I think an environment like this makes people maybe feel a little more open to do that. Absolutely. Uh, we get great support from the business community yeah. um, for this event and including our mental health providers. And they all have tents out there with friendly mm -hmm. staff to talk to and give you information. Yeah. So, and I mean, I think I read 600 to 700 people yes. generally participate in, mm -hmm. in NAMI Walks. They do, yes. That is, um, again, it's the largest um, mental health advocacy and awareness event in our area. And um, we just uh, love hosting it every yeah. year and love to see people out there supporting mental health, not just for people who are you know that that's what NAMI does is yeah. we we focus on families right so it's not just the person who's going through the issues but also their support network their families their friends um, we help educate them and provide support groups and Malik I think you can attest to that you know it, it wasn't you or your wife who, who had had the mental health illness it was your son and so places like NAMI kind of helped you through absolutely that. not only that but look at how many businesses that are out there in support. I was mm -hmm. amazed last year, if you look at list of businesses that are yeah. out there, list of churches, list of organizations who are willing to get involved. Yeah. The more we openly talk about it, more we bring in the awareness, and it's a very simple thing to get involved with. Yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. Well, I appreciate both of you uh, coming in and sharing your story and talking about the importance of the NAMI Walks. So the 21st annual NAMI Walks is coming up next Saturday, September 28th. It starts at 8 a.m. at the Ben Expo Amphitheater in East Moline. If you want to sign up, you can head online to namiwalks.org slash greater Mississippi Valley. Again, Lori and Malik, thank you so much. And uh, yeah, we'll keep our fingers crossed for a, a brighter <laughs> a brighter time this year. But rain or shine, it's for a great great cause and I think we're getting closer to ending that stigma so thanks thank so much. you so much Appreciate it.